Hurricane Dorian whipping up waves in the northeast. This is what it looks like this morning off the coast of Cape Cod with winds and rough surf. Further south, Dorian leaving a path of destruction across the Outer Banks. Ocracoke Island, hardest hit with massive flooding and power outages. Some saying they've never seen it this bad. And the misery is mounting in the Bahamas. The situation there, desperate. Rescue crews searching for survivors in the piles of debris. And now a new concern, oil leaking from a storage terminal on Grand Bahama Island. The Bahamas press is calling it a potential environmental disaster. ABC's Marcus Moore has been in the Bahamas all week. We'll check in with him in just a moment. But first, let's start with Rob on the North Carolina coast, still covering this destructive storm. Rob, good morning. Good morning, Wed. When you consider what happened in the Bahamas, the U.S. as a whole got pretty lucky. But, but don't tell that too loudly to the folks around here because the Carolinas got hit hard. Look at what the force of the wind did to these utility poles behind me. Still tens of thousands of people without power. The eye of Hurricane Dorian making landfall just 30 miles to my south. This morning, the Carolinas reeling after the wrath of Hurricane Dorian. Residents on Ocracoke Island assessing the damage after near record storm surge swamped neighborhoods. We didn't know it was going to be this bad. Homes and backyards flooded, cars left submerged, this whole street underwater. Hyde County choppers flying onto the island to help the estimated 800 people who did not evacuate. Dorian's winds recorded up to 110 miles per hour, ripping across the coast, pushing water inland. ABC's Stephanie Ramos was there. It's getting right now you can see the waves crashing pushing into that shoreline the hurricane making landfall with full force bringing over a foot of rain and damaging winds winds gusting to 77 miles per hour now coming off the sound we got sound surge flooding debris and water covering in this road we're still four hours from high tide storm surge inundating virginia too water rushing into norfolk flooding downtown Utility crews racing to restore power across the region with tens of thousands still in the dark. This after up to 20 reported tornadoes tore through North Carolina ahead of Dorian. Residents of Emerald Isle still trying to salvage what they can. So they pretty much had three days worth of, port of Dorian here in North Carolina. And the way this, this state is shaped, you get it on both sides. So you get the Atlantic surge flooding and you get the sound surge flooding as well. Much calmer today. But this is going to go down as number six in the record books here as far as the lowest pressure uh, of a hurricane hitting North Carolina out of all the hurricanes that have hit this state. So a pretty remarkable storm for sure. But we are rid of it for now. It is heading off towards the north and east, but the northeast coast of the U.S. is getting impacted pretty heavily this morning. I want to show you where it is, about 130 miles to the southeast of Nantucket. Still a Category 1 storm moving northeastly at 25 miles an hour, so it's still accelerating. And here's what we expect as far as the track is concerned. We've seen wind gusts to 63 miles an hour in Provincetown, over 70 miles an hour uh, off, off Nantucket. And looks like Nova Scotia is going to be the next to get hit later on this afternoon and tonight. They do happen. Hurricanes do hit the Maritimes, but it is pretty rare and Bedorian has uh, been surprising us for a while now. We'll talk more in a few minutes. Guys, back up to you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.